Are you ready to stand before God to give an account of your life? Judgment Day is going to come eventually. Are you right with God today? The Bible says, repent therefore and be converted that your sin might be blotted out. That times of refreshing might come with the presence of the Lord. What are you guys doing with Jesus? What are you guys doing with Jesus today? Turn from your ways, turn from sin. Fear God. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to return one day. Are you ready? He's going to judge in righteousness. The Bible says to, to fear God is keep his commandment. Jesus Christ is the only way, the only truth, the only life. Get right with God while you still can. Time is running out. Time is short. Jesus says, Behold, I'm coming quickly to give everyone according to his words. That's what Jesus Christ said. The Bible says, Fear God and keep his commandments, and this is man's all. For God will bring every word into judgment, including every secret thing, things, whether good or evil. Are you ready to stand before God and to give an account of every thought, word, and deed? Are you living a holy life, being in obedience to God? Are you reading the Bible and obeying the Bible? Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Jesus Christ says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Do you love Jesus? Are you following Jesus? Listen, going to church on Sunday is not enough. You got to obey him. You got to follow him. You got to live for Jesus Christ because he died for you. Live for Jesus. He's worthy. He's worthy of your life. He's worthy of your all. Jesus Christ is worthy of your all. Are you following Jesus today? If you're following Jesus, you wouldn't be walking in sin. Jesus Christ never leave anyone to sin. He leads them to holiness and obedience. Going to a building on something is not enough. You gotta forsake your sins. You gotta turn in faith into Jesus Christ. Without faith, is it impossible to please God? Are you pleasing God today with your life? Are you trusting Jesus today with your life? Or are you doing things that you should not be doing? Things that God doesn't want you to do? The Bible says, repent therefore and be converted that your sin might be blotted out. And time of refreshing might come with the presence of the Lord. Turn to Jesus Christ, follow Jesus Christ. The Jesus died for you. Live for Jesus for Christ. Live for Jesus Christ, he died for you. There's no good reason to keep on living in sin. Jesus Christ is going to return, are you ready? Are you re ready to, re to the return of Jesus Christ? Are you ready for Jesus Christ to judge your life in righteousness? Are you prepared to meet your maker? Time is running out. Time is running out on your life. Time is running out of this world. Turn to Jesus Christ while you still have time. Your life is but a vapor that appears for a little while 
and after this comes the judgment. One thing for sure, we're all gonna die one day. There's no way to escape it. And you have a meeting to meet Jesus Christ on your day of judgment. That's a, that's a meeting you, you cannot cancel or postpone. Everyone will see Jesus, will face Jesus on their day of judgment. Are you ready to meet him? If you're not ready to meet him, I think it's time today for salvation. Ask forgiveness and seek God. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man is taught. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And to our God he will abundantly pardon. Yes, he will abundantly pardon. No matter what you did in the past, come to him in broken heart and contrite heart and sincere heart and he will forgive you. All you have to do is come to him. His arms are wide open. Come to Christ. Today is your day of salvation, not tomorrow. You don't know when you're going to die. You could die tonight. You could die tomorrow. Turn to Jesus Christ while, while your heart is still beating. And when and where your lungs are still breathing. Turn to Jesus Christ. He's your only hope. Ride with Christ. Jesus Christ is your only hope in this world and to the world that is to come. The Bible says he was wounded from our, from our transgression. He was bruised for our, our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripe we can be healed. All we are like sheep of God astray and turn everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all so friends repent and believe in the gospel while you still can turn from your sin seek the Lord while he may be found call upon him while he's near let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man is taught. Let him, him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God. He will abundantly pardon. The Bible says, draw near to God, he will draw near to you. The Bible says, enter by the narrow gate. That's what Jesus Christ said. Jesus Christ is the way, the way. I am serious. Move, or else I will take your fucking soul from your God. Go. Why are you? Why Get do you? Out of here. Why do you I hate yourself? Bullshit. Go talk to somebody else. Why do you hate yourself so much? I don't hate myself. I hate your fucking. Bullshit. Well, I love you, sir. That's a different. I do love Go you. Down. Go peddle your shit somewhere I can't hear it. You ignorant son of a bitch. I don't want to hear about your fucking God. Move down, sir. I've just called the police. You're disturbing. Okay, go ahead. Call the police. Go. Call the police. Go ahead. I have my rights. It's my free, my free speech. I have my rights for free speech. Then walk away. Then walk away. Call the cops. Call the cops. Smile too, sir. Praise the Lord. May God have mercy for their poor souls. We're all going to die one day. Call the cops. I would like to see the cops because I have my rights. Freedom of rights, my freedom of speech, and my freedom of religion. I'm here to... I love you guys. I don't want you guys to go to hell. That's the, that's the problem. It's funny. You guys don't love me. Where's your love, sir? Where's your love? I love you guys. I don't want you guys to go to hell. I just want you guys to have eternal life. Because we're all going to die one day. That's a promise. No man comes to the Father but by him. There is no name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. 
beside Jesus Christ. Turn from sin today. Turn to Jesus Christ today. Fear God. Love Jesus. Follow Jesus. If you do those things, you will keep his commandments. God will take care of you. Do not worry about the things that you need. Seek the first of the kingdom of God. And righteousness will all give it to you. Follow Jesus Christ. Are you following Jesus Christ today? Are you following Jesus Christ today or are you living for yourself? If you're living for yourself, you're in a rude awakening for someday. You got to live for Jesus Christ. Not just going to a building on Sunday and going about your week uh, over your life. The Bible says, therefore, and receive with me this in the implanted word, which is able to save your soul. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. God bless you, sir. Ride with God. There is only one person that can save us. There's only one person that can take your sins away. And that person is Jesus Christ. Today, I want to speak why Jesus, Jesus Christ alone is the only way to be saved. The reason why the only person that can save you, dear friend, is Jesus. It is because he is the only one who paid the price for your penalty. There is no other person that paid the price for your penalty. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came so that he provided a way back. If you do not have Jesus, all you have is your religion. All you have is religious motions and things that you can do, thinking that you can maybe earn salvation by your acts, by how you behave, by how religious you are, by how many times you go to church, that type of thing. All religion, including the Catholics, the Orthodox, Islam, and Judaism, all these things are the same because they're all focused on what you can do as laws, religious motion so that maybe God save you if you try well enough but the truth is one is this truth is is God himself provided the sacrifice from himself to save people that is why we need to understand that Jesus Christ is divine he is not a creature he is not a prophet he is not a mere man. He is the Son of God, the eternal Son of God, who came down from heaven and took a form of a servant so that he dies for you and for me and for the sins of the whole world so that if we believe in his sacrifice, we will believe in the true love of God. And if we believe that he did for us, we will come to him in repentance. We will turn away from our sins and go trust in that sacrifice that he provided for us so that we are reconciled to the Father. This is why Jesus Christ is the only way, because he is the sacrifice provided by God, by the Father, so that 
we come to come into repentance by believing on the name of his son Jesus Christ the Old Testament hint of this sacrifice from the beginning from the story of Adam and Eve we saw that when they disobeyed God they realized they were naked and they tried to cover themselves and this is what religion do today it is an attempt to cover ourselves but God saw that they could not cover themselves, so they took, so he took a skin of an animal, an innocent animal, and this was the first sacrifice, and he covered that for that, he covered that with that skin of that animal. This is a shadow of Jesus Christ. This continue with the story of Cain and Abel. Many people ask why Abel's sacrifice was acceptable, why his gift was acceptable, why Cain's was not. And the reason was Abel knew that it's through the sacrifice of another. It's through the shedding of blood that justice is given back to God. The same thing happens with Abraham. God asked Abraham for a sacrifice for a son. It can't get closer than this. And when Abraham came offer his son, God said to him, do not lay hand on your son. And when they asked which sacrifice they should give to God, God said, I will provide the sacrifice. This is hinted about Jesus Christ. God will provide the sacrifice. And then when they looked and they saw the ram caught in thick horn, this is a picture of Jesus Christ, who will go to the cross with thorns on his head. This sacrifice has been hinted at since the beginning to tell us that God himself will provide the sacrifice to pay for our sins because we cannot do it by ourselves. We cannot cover ourselves. It is only attempt at righteousness. And if we don't recognize that it is through Jesus Christ alone that we can get saved, we can get forgiven. We will not be saved. It is the only sacrifice provided by God to reconcile us to ourselves after our rebellion. There is no other person. Jesus Christ is the only way. He is the truth. He is the life. If we want to have forgiveness, we have to go through him, to the Father, through him and him alone. The Holy Scripture says that if we have the Son, we have the Father. If we deny the Son, we deny the Father. If we want to have access to God, we need the Son. We cannot go to God except through the Son and through the sacrifice of the Son. It is at the cross of Jesus Christ that we get our sins forgiven because it is the only way that God provided for us for, so that we, He pays for our sins where mercy and justice cross each other. They cross each other at the cross of Jesus Christ. Mercy and justice combined, the sacrifice that God provided to reconcile man unto God. Come to Jesus Christ, folks. Turn away from sins. Believe on the sacrifice that he provided for you on the cross. When you cry over your sin, when you come to him in repentance, he will accept you. He will give you eternal life. It will be a new beginning. It is not an easy life. It is a hard walk. It's a long walk, but it is a beautiful walk, and it is one that leads to eternal life. Come to Jesus and have life. Come to Jesus and save yourself from this wicked generation. Thanks for water. Thanks for the water that God gave us so we can quench our thirst. Thank him also for the food that you're eating because he could take that away from you. You know, we're having this problem about the COVID-19 virus here. 
that's not the problem. The problem is the sin problem. That's, just, that's the problem of this world. Maybe that's the reason why we have it. Because we probably don't do what God is asking us to do. Maybe that's a punishment. Maybe it won't be the only one. Maybe there's some more will be coming. Be prepared. Because it is predicted in the future a seven-year tribulation of the Antichrist is going to come. That's before when Jesus Christ comes the second time. Jesus Christ came the first time as a baby in a manger to try to teach and how to be saved, but on the second coming, he's not coming like a, a baby in a manger. He's coming like a warrior this time. This time he's going to separate the sheep with the goat. If you're not ready, well, today is the day to ask forgiveness and seek for salvation. Because when that day comes, when he comes on the second coming, people will be crying out to hide them underneath mountains. They would like the mountains and the, and the earth to bury them because they could not face Jesus Christ when he comes on his second day. This is a warning. I'm warning you. He's coming back. But there's a year or seven year tribulation before he comes back. A year of big trouble. Right with Christ. Are you ready to stand before God to give an account of your life? Judgment day is going to come eventually. Are you right with God today? The Bible says, Repent therefore and be converted, that your sin might be blotted out, that time of refreshing might come from the presence of the Lord. What are you doing with Jesus today, God? Turn from sin. Fear God. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to return. Are you ready? He's going to judge us in righteousness. The Bible says to fear God and keep his commandment. Jesus Christ is the only way, the only truth, the only life. Get right with God while you still can. The Bible says that God commands all men everywhere to repent because there's coming a day which God will judge the world in righteousness. Are you ready to stand before God? Are you ready to give an account for every thought, word, and deed? Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verses 13 and 14 says let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear God and keep his commandments for this is man's all for God will bring every works into judgment including every secret things whether good or evil In the Bible it says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever, soever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But God of the Bible is not after to get you, my friend. He's out to forgive you. 
He proved his love on the old rugged cross of Mount Calvary. His son, his precious son, shed his blood on the cross. The Bible says, after shedding his blood, there is no remission of sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and that shall be saved. Jesus Christ is still the answer. My friend, the good youth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is that Christ died for our sins and that he was buried and he rose on the third day. Jesus Christ said, you must be born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. My friend, everything you're looking for tonight or tomorrow morning is found in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. You want lasting joy and permanent peace and love through and through your soul? It's found in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not in the church, found in the church building or a man-made religion. It is found in the personal relationship of Jesus Christ and through Jesus Christ. The Bible says, lean and not salvage. There is any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men which we must be saved. that he died for your sin. He died in the righteous for the unrighteous. He died for all, that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Run with Christ, follow Jesus. It's the only way to make it to heaven. We will all be judged by God for our life. How we live your life. Some I'm a born-again Christian. I gave my life to Christ. The power of God, the divine power, came within my vein. Born from above, he changed me by the power of, of grace, of mercy, of the goodness of God, the land of the living in your life, and God's goodness and shines upon you that you might experience in amazing grace. That grace that comes in Jesus Christ, that comes into the heart. It changes your behavior. Jesus died for you. Live for him. Don't be a sinner. Go and sin no more. Fear God and keep his commandment. The Bible says, fear God, keep his commandment. This is man's all. For God will bring every work into judgment for every secret thing, whether good or evil. Are you ready to stand before God? Are you ready to give an account of your life? 
Judgment Day is going to come. It is not going to be pretty for most of people. Most people are going to end up in hell. The Bible says, enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way which leads into destruction. There are many who are going by it. Narrow is the gate, and difficulty is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Few will find, find life. Most will go to hell. But it is not God's will that anyone should perish, but all should come to a knowledge of the truth. Jesus died for you, not so you can keep on sinning, so you stop it. Jesus died, died for you so you can stop sinning and stop living holy and obey in God. That is why Jesus Christ died, not just to forgive you, forgiving of your sins and keep on sinning, so you stop being a sinner. The Bible says, he who sins is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God is manifested that he might destroy the work of the devil. Follow Jesus, friends. The Bible says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have a mercy on him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. The Bible says, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, your sinners. Purify your heart, your double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter turn to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourself in the sight of God and he will lift you up. The Bible says, do you not know the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, no drunkards, no revilers, no extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Please listen to these words, folks. It's very serious. Jesus died for all, that those who live should will live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Jesus Christ died not to leave you a sinner, but to change you into a saint, to make you holy, so you wouldn't be like the rest of the world around you. Dressed immodestly, getting drunk, having filthy words coming out of your mouth, having sex outside of marriage, lusting, looking at pornography, God, I demand you to stop that. Jesus, 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 the sweetest name I know. Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. That is music to my ears. He is the roaring lion of Judah. He is the holy king of the Lord. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the King of Kings, King of Kings, the Judge of Judges. Believe and trust in tree and trust in Jesus Christ. He wants you to come to seek him. His arms are wide open and he is long suffering, waiting patiently for you to come so he can embrace you and wipe away the tears from your eyes. Well, there shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. 
there shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, 6 to 7, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And unto our God he will abundantly pardon. Find him before it's too late, friends, and repent and be born again. Be right with God. The days are coming. Are you ready to meet Jesus? If you are living in sin, then you are not ready. Give up your sins and come to Jesus Christ and live. The wage of sin is death. Please do not die in your sins. Get out of the darkness and come into the light before every chance you have to change is gone. Oh, people, why are you doing this to yourselves? Why do you hate yourself so much? Why don't you come to live and have happy ever after and for eternity? He showed himself on the cross how much he loves you. Why don't you want to show your love toward him in return? Jesus Christ, if you love me, you can keep my commandments. What I notice in today's society, secular to society, in the me and my myself society, it is the people is don't even have the time of day by showing their appreciation about what he has done for them. Is that not being a bit selfish on your part? The problem of today, people, don't fear God. Fearing God is the beginning of wisdom. When you fear God, you will stop sinning. In the Bible, Jesus says in Luke chapter 12, 4 to 5, And I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that have no more they can do. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, friends, fear him. The way he is treated by many in this world is unbelievable and cruel. He, they treat him like a worm, and nobody, and everybody constantly bully him and call him his name, blaspheme his name, curse him, first his fist at his face, telling him, you're not going to rule over me. Is that the way we should treat him for what, we have, for what he has done for us all? I don't think so. The most hated man of all time and all throughout the world is Jesus Christ. That is so sad. It should be the other way around. Satan should be the one, should be the one that should be hated and avoided. How come people follow Satan? who hates them but does not follow Jesus who loves them. You know what? At the, end, at the end of all this, Satan will lose, but Jesus in all his glory will win. Be on the winning side and not on the losing side. Praise the Lord.